Hello everyone, welcome back again in YouTube live session. So uh, yeah, in today's topic, uh, we are going to learn about traffic signal lights. And uh, this is the activity that's based on Arduino. And let some students also join the session, then we will start our live session. Let me check uh, how many of you have joined. So I'm sharing a website link. Actually, you will be open like uh, Tinkercad. We did the 3D designing before uh, in live sessions. So yeah, I will just copy the link in the chat box. You can take the link. And let's wait some students to join. Good evening, Akshay. How are you? Okay, so I have sent Tinkercad link to everybody and uh, everyone can join. Uh, so in Tinkercad, basically, you are going to open circuit one, okay, and uh, I will share my screen quickly with all of you. Yes, so here you will see that uh, this is the dashboard and uh, uh, you will open socket designs in Tinkercad. When you go to Tinkercad, you will find this tab, like uh, I will let you know that when you go to the tab, you will go on to the Tinkercad, you will do sign in with Google account because you are a student. So you will uh, tick as a student and uh, then we'll start making this, uh, making a circuit in this. Okay, so you will go to circuits and then you will make that. So let's talk about what we are going to make today. So we will be making uh, traffic lights. So as everybody knows that uh, how many lights do we have? So if I talk about the appearance, then uh, we have a sequence for the traffic light. Okay, so anybody can tell me what will be the sequence in the chat box so that I will draw here. So let's uh, draw a traffic light graph. Suppose this will be a green light. Then you will have a yellow light here. And uh, after that, you will have a red light and this all will come inside this actually i'm drawing it <laughs> so that's why it's like that okay so now this lights we will be making with the help of uh, circuits with the help of arduino so arduino is basically a board where you know we can do the robotics part we can program lots of uh, electrical and electronics components uh, so i will let you know uh, about this area what we call this actually so if you will see right hand side this area is the component section where you can take or pick the components from then this part where i draw the designs this part we call as a workspace where we can draw our circuit so the very first thing we want for making our circuit is a breadboard so i'm just taking out the breadboard this is my breadboard after the breadboard you will take the adeno board so let me undo this because it's coming like that okay so this is your breadboard basically 
and uh, after taking the breadboard you will take your arduino board i can see this arduino uno r3 component here you can move it onto the workspace so here is my arduino board i want this arduino board to tilt a bit so i will just rotate it with the help of this rotation sign you can check over here and uh, after this like i just want to move it quite left side and i also want my breadboard to move to what's left so yeah now after this what next you want is leds for making the lights because i want to create the lights you know um uh, the signal lights so the signal lights are as follows like first we will make a green color light then we will make yellow one then red one so this will be the sequence so i have this led as a component i'm taking this led here then uh, i can duplicate it as uh, you know because i want three leds so i make the copies of leds so i have three leds now and uh, here when you will click on the leds you will see that uh, there are different like uh, color option is also given like this led it's showing red so i want this led to be of uh, uh, green color so i'm just clicking on it and uh, let's make it green color then uh, i will come over here and uh, for this led the color will be yellow i'm marking as and uh, i will also take another led so i will make duplicate of it and uh, this led uh, it's arranging like i will arrange it here and this led i will mark it as you can come in down of course this should be of red color okay so i will take this led as red color okay let me check if everybody has done with all these steps uh, let me open Okay, Akshaya, have you done all these? Okay, that's fine. Now uh, let's come to the next step we will follow is that uh, uh, ground, what does the meaning of ground is actually we are making a parallel circuit what are parallel circuits parallel circuits are uh, like uh, when you go into the deep uh, you will learn about circuits more like we have the course uh, related to this uh, electrical and electronics thing you can access our course you can go to our website as well uh, though i like a basic idea i can say that parallel circuits are the circuit where both leds are connected directly to the batteries okay and parallel to each other okay so uh, i'm just taking this ground and uh, i will put this ground uh, like i will hold click on it and i put this ground wire to the negative of the breadboard so breadboard we basically use for making the connections of the components it's easy to make connections because there are grids uh, that will combine together if i can see 
that in this line, the negative one, uh, when I move my cursor to the negative line, I can see that all green uh, circles uh, are shown. Why? Because this complete line has same connection, okay, same grid connection. Now, if I go to this positive one, then all green circles you will see in the positive. But if I come in this part, uh, like A, B, C, D, uh, E, F, G, H, this part, so when I move on number one, you can see the grid is vertical now. It's not horizontal. When I move to number four, any, any grid I'm moving, you can see the grid is vertical. It means inside the breadboard, the connection is vertical. Okay. And uh, if I talk about these two lines, negative and positive, the connection will be horizontal grids. Now, uh, I want to change this color as black color because what uh, we observe as a color, uh, like uh, the ground color, if you will connect something to the negative, it should be black color. So, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, having a good appearance, basically. Now, if I talk about this LED, LED has a polarity, means it has two legs. One is a positive one and second is a negative one so the positive one we called as anode if i move this here so the positive lag is an anode and if i move it here the negative lag is a cathode so i want the connection of every leds negative lag to the negative of the arduino means to the ground of the arduino so i will just connect this to uh this grid one then i will connect this negative of the led to this as i know that uh, in the breadboard horizontal line is connected to each other right all horizontal circles are connected so that's why i'm doing the connection to this line only like this okay so i have done all the ground connections now what i want is uh i have this resistor okay what is the use of resistor and why we are taking this actually it manages the flow of current passes uh because see every component has its particular voltage and they can work on right if the voltage are getting high it will get fused so the same concept we are following and uh, because LEDs has 1.5, uh, like it can take only 1.5 volts, right? So in um, Arduino board, I can see that it's having two voltages, like 5 volt and 3.3 volt. We don't have any option for 1.5 volts. So that's why we are putting the resistors. Resistors can resist that voltage and convert it into the voltage that requires. Okay, so that's why I'm taking resistor here. And uh, this resistor, basically, I'm taking the value of 220 ohms. So I'm taking a resistor over here. And the value you all will make as 220 ohms. And I'm connecting these two grids together with the help of this resistor. Okay, so the value I'm making as 220 ohms. And this kilo ohm you will click on, and this kilo ohm you will convert into the ohm. So that's done. And uh, this is wrong. Actually, you will connect this resistor in this grid. Okay. Because this is the positive, and this positive you need to connect first to the line number eight only. So I'm connecting here. And this i will give a color as a green because uh, you know it's a green led connection that's why now after doing this you will take another resistor so of course what i'm going to do is i will make a copy of this resistor just do this copy and paste and uh, you will get another resistor over here so i 
I will take this resistor here. Yeah. No, this one. Line number 12, you will take the resistor on. And uh, of course, you will make a connection of positive to line number 12. So I'm making it. And uh, this, the color of LED, you will make as yellow one. So you'll click on it and let's make it to the yellow color. Then let's make the, another copy of the resistor. So we will copy and paste it. And I have the, another resistor over here. So I am connecting this resistor here in line number 16. And uh, I will make a connection to line number 16. So you will make a connection like this. And uh, here you will change the color of LED, uh, like this wire color, change it to red color. Okay, so I guess it's done. Now what I want is that uh, I have to assign a pin to the LEDs means my LEDs has to connect uh, to a particular pins also. So I will connect uh, these LEDs to the pin like pin number two, three and four. Okay, so uh, here exactly like um, the red one we will connect to pin number two. So let's, I will take it from this grid, the red one and I'm moving it like this. And from here, I will make it turn. So I will tap and I can make it turn properly. I will tap again, I can make it turn and I will click on this pin number two. So I connect the positive terminal to pin number two. Now I will take this to in number three, okay, let me undo this. If this kind of thing happens, you can undo this, okay? So this grid has a connection, this vertical grid, uh, number 12 and uh, this side, this is B, okay? So you will move it over here and you will make a tab, then you will move it down make a tab and then you will move it to pin number three of the Arduino. Now the color of this you will change it to yellow color. So I'm changing the color as yellow color. It's done. Now the next part is the green one. So you will take it from here and this green one will be fourth one. So I will tap here, I will move it down. Make sure that, uh, you know, the circuit connection must be, uh, uh, you know, sorted. It's not like that uh, you are taking the connections and, you know, joining the components to uh, some other parts because it seems to be very bad otherwise. And, uh, you know, somebody who actually doesn't know that what is this, they really find difficulties to, uh, you know, sort this out. Now my circuit is complete. This is a parallel circuit we call, okay, the, uh, where, you know, I connect every LED to the pins and now I will write some program for the LEDs. So do you see this code section? You will come onto the code section and we will start writing down the code for this. So I want to write the code in the text format. So I will go to the block section and I will click on text. Now it will ask me, are you sure? I am definitely sure about it. So I will click on continue. 
Now, this is uh, my code actually in C++. Let's delete the rest, everything. So I'm just selecting, press the backspace key, and let's start our new code. So the very first thing you will uh, write is a void set up. Actually, this is an inbuilt function. You need to uh, write like this only. Okay, uh, so white setup means you will be setting up all the things over here and press enter. You will take a curly bracket and after this, you will write pin mode. So I'm writing pin mode four. I'm giving pin number four and at pin number four, I'm giving an output and I will close this with a round bracket and make a semicolon. Okay, so this way I will define every pin. So I have, I'm, I will give uh, like uh, the output on pin number four, then I will give the output on pin number three, pin number two, like this. Okay, so I will start writing pin. Mode. number three this time output make sure you will write output in capital letters only okay because this is the defined function and we need to write like this only so pin mode two output like this and you will close this with the curly bracket okay so this is your void setter now i will make a void loop what is void loop void loop is means something we are repeating again and again inside the loop okay so that we called as void loop so uh, let's take our void loop here what i want is that my green led will be high uh, in this in this programming uh, we use term high and low so high means on and low means off okay so i will take uh, in line number seven i will call a loop so it's a build function as i told you white loop we will take and we will close this like and uh, next of course who will tell what should i have to take and uh, this is getting wrong we need to take enter after loop so I need to correct this and uh, yeah, I press backspace and yeah, it's right. Uh, please do write this much code and uh, let me know in the comment section, everyone. everyone. So yeah, uh, next inside the void loop, you will write, you will just take a curly brackets. So I'm taking it. Let's come to the next line. Let me check if everybody has done with the, these steps. Please uh, let me know in the comment section if any problem are you facing while writing. You can also tell me that. So I will write again a function digital write for hi. And I will close this and put the semicolon. Uh, digital right four is high means pin number four is getting on. Okay, means the LED that is on pin number four, it should be on. Then uh, we will take a delay. And uh, here I will give the delay of 3000 milliseconds okay 3000 milliseconds means three seconds so i want three seconds delay and uh, then i will take digital write four as low so i will write a command digital write four as low and i will put the semicolon the same thing you will follow for every uh, 
LED. Okay, so yeah, you will write exactly like this. Um, I will press enter again, like I want to show some space here. And now I will write again the same thing uh, for uh, three. Let's see, you will write or not. If you have done, please let me know that, yeah, you have done with this thing. Okay, so I'm also going to write digital write three. Hi. Digital write. Low in between, I will put delay. So, yeah, go to line number 13, press enter. You will come back to line number 40. So, I'll go to 13. I will press enter and I will write delay of. 1000 milliseconds it means of course it's a three seconds the same thing you will do for the another one as i told you the coding part is very very easy is just you need to write down the code like this okay so the third line everybody will tell me what should be the pin number here so I will write digital write pin number two. That should be I the delay you will take as uh, three thousand milliseconds. And again, digital write pin number two. That should be low. And it's done. Actually, you need to close the curly bracket. Okay. So the code path is also done. Let me check if everybody has done with all these things. And if I click on start simulation, then let's see what will happen. So if anybody has a doubt, you know, to what is happening and how it is happening, you can definitely ask me. So you can see the green light is glowing and it will wait for three seconds and then uh, the yellow will glow, then the red will glow and it will work like that only so it's a uh, yellow one now it's red then green okay let me zoom in if you can see it properly so yeah this is all about our project traffic light you can uh, definitely like i think uh, you enjoy the session and uh, again if you made the project you can please send us our uh, uh, project pictures you know uh, like what have you made what you want to make or what have you learned through our live sessions and uh, we can definitely tag you and post that pictures to our stories and uh, let's make it more interesting uh, let's add on the things here let's add on more leds like this you can uh, add lots of leds exactly like this okay so you can make the concept more interesting and uh, to know more about um, this uh, electronics part electrical part you can definitely go to our course our website and you can check our course and yeah so for today i guess um, we have done with the session so everybody now it's time to leave class 
Okay, bye bye. We'll meet you in next Saturday for the younger ones next to next hand for if you have any elder sister or brother at home, you can definitely tell them. Uh, we have uh, amazing coding sessions for them. Uh, so yeah, you can even comment uh, like send us uh, the messages on Instagram, what session